Everybody eat some. Ooh. Spicy beef noodle popcorn. Taiwan's famous soup turned popcorn. Ready to try one of Taiwan's most famous dishes? Nowadays, you can grab a bowl of spicy beef noodles pretty much anywhere. But up until 1895, eating beef was seen as taboo. That's because, uh, that's because oxen and cattle were such an important part of farming <laughs> that eating them seemed like a huge waste. But today, Beef noodle soup is so popular that it's widely considered Taiwan's national dish. Thumbs up or thumbs down? You. Thumbs up. Do you want it, Belly? You like it? It's a little kick. A little spicy. It's got a little kick to it. So everybody but Misha and Ramsey like it. I'm so. Ramsey, did you like it, buddy? I think maybe. Maybe. Okay. Kimchi soy crackers, inspired by Korean cabbage. Wondering why Korean pickled cabbage is in a Taiwan box? It's because the spicy veggie dish is also super popular among the Taiwanese. In fact, locals love it so much that they have their own version called Pao Kai. Different from spicy Korean kimchi, Taiwanese kimchi is more sweet and sour to suit the local preference for non-spicy foods. Even these kimchi crackers, despite their name, have gotten the Taiwanese treatment with soy sauce toning down the heat. It's a savory, sweet, crunchy treat that's quintessentially Taiwanese. It's so sweet. Bread. It's, it's, it's uh, not real sour. Sophie, thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, Ramsey, thumbs up or thumbs down? Do you like it? Maybe. Okay. Uh, maybe. Addy, Eli, Mushi, are you a maybe? Maybe? No, I was good. I was good. I was Misha and uh, Ramsey were maybes. No, you guys love spicy. This is why I don't know it, wasn't it, wasn't it wasn't spicy. It wasn't spicy. That one wasn't spicy, honey. Yeah, it tastes a little spicy. Yeah, the aftertaste is spicy. I think that's what you had before. I, I, saw, I saw the spice in my mouth from okay, the first yeah, thing that we had. What is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
What about fun? Or did you go down the fun side? Mm -mm. So I would have my vein and make my vein purple. I love it! Purple. Hmm? Not purple. It's not for me. make my finger green. Uh, it's a what? Real silver. Oh, good. Double thumbs up. Everybody liked it? Yeah. 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 It doesn't feel yeah. like it looks in that. That's all. Like, Sophia's finger is apparently yeah. green now that she's wearing that ring on. I love that. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Babe. Do you not like it? Yeah. 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 Hold on. Oh, do you like it? Um. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with no. Um. What? what? No. Um. I love green tea, and to taste green tea in in the squishy texture that it was um. is very off-putting. I know it doesn't you know? feel like it looks. I was expecting that to be like something like chewy, not like very marshmallow. Yeah, it was uh. Weird. It was there. odd. We'll get yeah. different kind of mochi to have you guys try. There are other flavors, just like other flavors. Pineapple cake. Taiwan's luckiest treat. If you want to try Taiwan's luckiest treat, you're in, well, luck. These little shortbread cookies are the most popular gift to give in the Tolkien oh, region. <laughs> And not just because they're delicious, and the local dialect for the word pineapple is pronounced similarly to the phrase luck arrives. So when we're saying, so what we're saying is that you should feel very lucky to be eating something so tasty right now. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Abby, did you eat that? I liked it. Did you like it, Josh? It's a goat. I personally do not want to be squished by a table. Yogurt animal crackers. Crunchy and adorable with a yogurt flavor. Taiwan does animal crackers a little differently. For one, we can accurately identify each and every shape in the bag. And second, is that these are definitely more like traditional crackers than the cookies you might be used to. They're crunchy, slightly sweet, and feature a unique tangy flavor inspired by yogurt, which is surprisingly popular flavor there. Also, the penguin ones taste the best. Just take our word for it. It tastes familiar. It tastes familiar. I swear. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Like pop. Thumbs up. Like thumbs up, people. Thumbs up. Guess some thumbs up all around? Yeah, for thumbs them. Up, thumbs, up, thumbs up all around. How'd you feel about it? Thumbs up, thumbs up. I'm a maybe. Choco peanut mochi. Three layers of perfection. We've got a sticky situation and tradition in Huilin Mochi, the pillow soft sweet treat made with from sticky gelatinous rice is sold pretty much everywhere from street stalls to fancy dessert shops and every flavor you can imagine. In fact, handmade mochi is so popular that it's one of Huilin's most popular souvenirs. And let's be serious. These chocolatey mochi filled with peanut cream are a perfect gift, which is why we're giving them to you. <laughs> Consider it our delicious way of saying thank you for joining us on this Taiwanese adventure. How'd you guys like that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? My favorite bit is the chocolate peanut butter bit. Wow. Okay. Cool thing. <laughs> Have you been no, come back to life? Salty lemon pea crackers. Zesty, citrusy, and extra crunchy. Salty fruit? This unusual combo isn't so unusual in Taiwan. It's the norm. Fruit vendors often include a complimentary salt or spice packet, and local kids grow up sprinkling salty and savory spices on their fruit to reduce the bitterness, enhance sweetness, or give it a more complex flavor. Keep if you're still skeptical about the combo, try these lemony, salty, and crunchy pea twists. These sweet and zingy flavor explosions will have you reaching for the salt shaker the next time fruit is served. Thumbs up or thumbs down? 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 Thum
French fries in a box from Taiwan? Just give us a moment. We promise it will make sense by the end. In the past 20 years, Taiwan's had a case of fast food fever. Tons of foreign chains have popped up all over the place. But the menus aren't the same as what you'll find in the U.S. Interested in rice patty burgers, squid pizza, or custard egg tarts? You can find them there. So it's only natural that those unique Taiwanified flavors bleed out into the snacks as well. It all makes sense now. Like Thumbs up! Yeah. Thumbs down. Yeah. Thumbs up! It's basically like soluble. Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Enjoy. Cherry Blossom Wafer Rolls. Crispy cookies with a floral aroma. While Japan and South Korea may come to mind first. Oh, while Japan and South Korea may come to mind first when thinking about cherry blossoms, Taiwan's are blooming in popularity. The Wuling Farm Cherry Blossom Festival is home to a whopping 2,100 cherry blossom trees, while the Ali Shan Cherry Blossom Festival is the only place in the country to see Yoshino cherry trees and Yangming Shan National Park, a famous cherry blossom viewing spot attracts a million visitors each year. We brought the cherry blossom to you in the form of these floral wafer rolls. Taro cream wafers, a yum worth celebrating. Say hello to Taro, potatoes tropical purple flecked cousin. With a complex, nutty flavor and extreme versatility, taro is beloved in Taiwan. In fact, there's an entire celebration dedicated to the group. Every October, thousands of local flock to the Little Kinnaman for the annual Taro Festival, where guests can dig up their own fresh taro, take pictures with the friendly purple mascot, and enjoy a wide assortment of sweet and savory taro dishes. And now you can celebrate at home with these crispy taro wafers. I don't like the apple. vanilla and chocolate. Mm -hmm. These have like 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 been in a lot of boxes. Wafers is a common thing to eat. Not those exactly, but. Thumbs up or thumbs down. They all taste the same to me. It tastes just like the wafers we eat here. Ooh, awesome. Many sesame cookies. <clears throat> Itty bitty crunchy cookies. By now you've likely noticed that Taiwanese cuisine gets a lot of inspiration from Japan. And these senbi style cookies are a testament to that. Small, flat, thin, and brittle. They certainly don't look like your local cookies and there's a reason for that. These crispy cookies aren't baked, they're fried. And Taiwanese, the Taiwanese have been frying them since the early 1900s, enjoying their unique, mildly sweet flavor with a side of green tea. Thumbs up or thumbs down? It's a little bit like peanut butter. Uh, I'm a thumbs down for that. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Taro cream cookies. Crumbly cookies filled with soft cream. Originally, we were going to share just one taro themed treat and then we moved on to other flavors. But the truth is that this flavor is so popular that it dominates the desert market. And when we stumbled upon these cookies filled with taro cream, we just had to share them. Take a bite and you'll understand why. Light, crumbly, with the smooth, earthy taste of taro cream. It's a whole lot of yes. 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 Thumbs up. What about yes, you guys? Sir. Yes, sir. Did you get to try yes, any? Uh, I got one over here in front of you. Brown sugar bubble tea. Sweet, refreshing, and chewy. You've likely heard of this popular drink since its popularity has spread from Taiwan all over the world. But did you know the original bubble tea didn't include those little tapioca pearls at all? The name originally came from how vigorously you had to shake the tea in order to get the flavor powder to distribute. 
The result was lots of bubbles by the time it was served. The later addition of tapioca added even more bubbles, further cementing the name. Either way, this sweet and fun to drink tea is sure to make you feel bubbly. I don't want my turn anymore because it's wet. Why do I like it? I like it. I like it, but I didn't eat the bowl. Okay. Misha, I didn't like the bowl, but I love that tea. Did you try it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.